Hey there, today I want to talk to you about how to open up a seller support ticket with Amazon. Because, you know, I get it. Things happen. We need some help from Amazon. We need someone to tell us what to do. Or maybe how things usually work aren't working anymore. Maybe we need to update a listing. Maybe we need to fix some feedback that should be removed from our feedback score. A lot of different possibilities that we need to talk to an Amazon support help. And this is how you open up a ticket. So I'm going to go to my computer screen. I'll show you what it looks like on the desktop on how to open up a support ticket. And then after I'm done showing you, uh, be sure to stay, keep watching because I have something else very important, a free giveaway just for you. So keep watching after the, the, I show you on my desktop because I got something just for you. All right, here we are in Amazon Seller Central and I'm gonna show you how to contact seller support for multiple reasons. Let's check it out. All right, so when you're in Amazon Seller Central, uh, there's a little help button up here. You can click on help and that will open up a new window. And when it opens up, it gives you the top solutions to most of the problems people have. So be sure to take a look at these top solutions because most of the issues people have are right here. So you can find your answer without even having to open up a case. But if you do have an issue and you're like, I can't figure this out, then you can, you know, fill out a little form here tell us how we can help you can describe your issue and amazon will look for a quick solution so you know say that you have some stranded inventory and you try to fix it and it's not work so you can you know you can type in stranded inventory and it gives a it gives you some search results and you know you can enter in the you know, asin f and SKU or the SKU to see if you can uh, search that issue if you know Amazon will tell you what the issue is if that doesn't work you can continue to scroll down and see other options maybe you got some feedback you want to have removed and uh, you can see that you can go through and read all the information if that doesn't help you can see some more solutions and maybe you have a damaged removal order I can spell really I can just can't spell and talk at the same time so damage removal order and then you can enter in the removal order ID and search that and try to find help that way now if this is not helpful when trying to find solutions uh, you can uh, look at the seller forums which I really don't recommend because some people there commenting our seller representatives others are other Amazon sellers who really don't have the right information there's other people just wasting time and actually you know giving bad information so I usually don't trust the seller forums you have to weed through a lot of uh, bad information to be able to make a good decision another option you can do is click on the contact us under need more help when you click this button it opens up this page where you can see if you need help with your advertising or if you need help with selling on Amazon when you click on this it opens up a huge little menu of possibilities um, if you have problems with your customers or your orders an FBA problem a products with your inventory specific account problems other issues um, and then at any time if you want to check a look at your t current open cases uh, you can click this little link right here and it will show you the current cases that are open right now that Amazon is working on resolving um, or maybe they're waiting for you to respond to them and you can figure out that by clicking on this little open case button Personally, I like opening up cases with Amazon, so I have a written paper trail of the information that I've asked, the information that they have given me. So if I do anything wrong and it's the fault of the seller rep that I talk to, then there's a paper trail saying your seller representative told me to do it this way, and so I'm not to blame because an Amazon employee told me how to do it. But I do understand there's times where you just can't communicate very well via email and you want to open up a case via a phone conversation so if you want to open up a phone conversation with an Amazon seller rep this is how you can do that so to talk to an Amazon seller rep on the phone what you do is you go to selling on Amazon click on your account other account issues you can scroll down and you can see that you can contact them via email or you can click on a phone number you type in your phone number and press call me now usually within a few minutes an Amazon rep will call you right now but there are Amazon seller reps on the phone all the time so sometimes you just have to wait your turn if you click on this it's an urgent issue it requires immediate attention just be sure that it's really that if you abuse this feature they will no longer allow you to contact them and that's not a good thing at all so be sure you don't abuse this um, so just put in your number call me now and sometimes 
It could take five minutes. It could take 30 minutes, but they'll call you back and you can talk to someone in person. So those are the ways that you can open up support cases with Amazon via email, via phone call to find the solutions you want. So when it comes to opening up a seller support ticket, uh, there, there's a lot of different things to remember. Uh, first off is that the employee of Amazon that you're talking to is really trying to help you. Uh, you know, they're trying to help you as best as possible and as fast as possible. They know you want help fast. Amazon wants them to help us fast. And so sometimes they might make an assumption or misunderstand what we're talking about and give us a quick copy and paste type of reply. This is because they're just trying to help us quickly. But if this happens and Amazon gives you a copy and paste reply that doesn't really help you, uh, just reply to that, uh, you know, message or reopen the case and say, you know, I think we have a misunderstanding. This is what I'm trying to say. When you're dealing with Amazon and opening up a seller support ticket, it's important to be as concise as possible and leave emotion out of it. Just be very specific to with what you need help with um, and, and stick to that. You know, be sure to leave out stuff like emotion, like this is really frustrating or this is, you know, I'm really mad that this is happening and it's not fair. You know, an Amazon seller support system can't help you with that. Maybe a counselor can help, I don't know. Um, but when you're dealing with an Amazon support system, another thing to remember, is that they are trying their best to answer as many different possible problems from every Amazon seller that's out there. And so they're not gonna be able to know everything. And so if you need some help, what one of the things that you can do is tell that Amazon seller rep that you'd like to escalate this to a supervisor. And maybe one of their supervisors can, can help you out if they're not able to help you out. But in any communication with Amazon, it's important to remember to be kind, to be patient, and to you know just be just be a good person when you're dealing with them um I, it can be really frustrating sometimes when you're talking to somebody on the phone with amazon or via email and you can understand that there's a communication difference you know because sometimes there's a cultural difference too and so that's just it's it's hard for them to understand what we're trying to say it's hard for us to understand what they're trying to say and there's nothing you know wrong it's just two different cultures trying to communicate both of them having the same goal of finding a solution to our problem. And so be patient with them. Um, but if there's a situation that ever arises that they're not able to help you, one of the things that you can do is request a stateside representative. That's where you're going to have, uh, uh, you know, someone from within the United States to help you with your issue. You know, if you're talking to someone who's possibly overseas, um, you know, again, they're doing their best. They have a million different types of problems that they're trying to help with and, and they're trying to help you fast and quickly. Um, but sometimes, you know, there's just a communication breakdown. That's life. That happens. So very kindly ask them, once you realize that you're not going getting anywhere with the solution that you're seeking, ask them to, to transfer you to a stateside representative. Um, you can't ever start off a seller support request by asking for a stateside representative. You, you just can't. You have to go through the process of having them go and help you as much as possible. And then, you know, then, then they'll be able to transfer you once they've exhausted all of their possibilities. So ask them for a stateside representative. What they'll do is they'll transfer you um, and, and not transfer you immediately. But what will usually happen is sometime later that day or the next day or the next, someone from the United States will call you and try to help you with that. So again, be kind, be generous. And I've got a freebie for you. If you go to fulltimefba.com forward slash seller central tips, I will give you a free ebook about how to handle so many different things within seller central, uh, reimbursement issues, um, other types of glitches that might happen on Amazon, how to correct those, you know, dealing with refunds, stuff like that to make sure that you get what you're owed and everything runs smoothly. I want to give it to you for free fulltimefba.com forward slash seller central tips is how you can get it. So just go there and you'll download that free ebook. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and leave us a comment below if you want. Leave us a thumbs up. Uh, give us a question if you want. We'll do our best to answer. And anyway, as always, fulltimefba.com is the blog. Go subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that we have to offer. Have a great day, everybody. God bless. Bye.